Thank you for joining us as we pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet and the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity, of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins, and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We should glory in the cross of the Lord Jesus, in whom is our salvation, life and the resurrection through whom we are saved and delivered. Que nosotros únicos orgullo sea la cruz de nuestro Señor Jesucristo, porque en él tenemos la salvación, la vida y la resurrección, y por él hemos sido salvador Salvadores y remedidos. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters, and welcome to St. Mary's Catholic Parish. We are glad that you are here, and we thank you for joining us today via YouTube, Facebook, or our website page. We are certainly glad that you are here. On behalf of our deacon Juan Torres and our seminarian Kevin back there, we are glad that you are here and joining us today for this feast day of the exaltation of the Holy Cross. 
Today's Mass is being offered for the intentions of Jim Andrews. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned within my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Señor Dios, que quisiste que tu ingenito sufriera, sufriera la cruz para salvador el género humano, concédenos que quienes conocemos su misterio en la tierra merezcamos alcanzar en el cielo el primero de su redención. Por nuestro Señor Jesucristo, tu Hijo, que vive y reina contigo en la unidad del Espíritu Santo, y es Dios por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. O God, who will that our only begotten Son should undergo the cross to, be save, to save the human race, grant, we pray, that we who have known his mysteries on earth may merit the grace of his redemption in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us be seated as we listen attentively to our readings. A reading from the book of Numbers. With their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people seraph serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole. And if any who have been bitten look at it, they will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Hearken, my people, to my teaching. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter mysteries from of old. Do, Do not, not forget, forget the works of the Lord. <clears throat> While he slew them, they sought him, 
and inquired after God again, remembering that God was their rock and the Most High God, their Redeemer. Do not not forget forget the works of the Lord. But they flattered him with their mouths and lied to him with their tongues, though their hearts were not steadfast toward him, nor were they faithful to his covenant. Do not not forget forget the works of the the Lord. But he, being merciful, forgave their sin and destroyed them not. Often he turned back his anger and let none of his wrath be roused. Do not not forget forget the works of the the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance, he humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. In your heart and on your Alleluia. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your cross you have redeemed the world. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. (laughs) And just as Moses filled up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, good afternoon, brothers and sisters, and thank you again for being with us here at St. Mary's Catholic Parish at our 3 o'clock hour. We are glad that you are here. Today we do celebrate the exaltation of the cross. It is a tradition of the church since the 7th century, where in the year... 623-ish, uh, Emperor Heraclius, uh, Her- Her- Heraclius, right, um, found or took back the cross that the Persians had, the original cross or part of the cross that uh, the Persians had taken and restored it back to the homeland in Israel, the Holy Land, and uh, in Jerusalem, excuse me, the Holy Land. Um, and so there it remains. And so it is a request, it is a reminder of what what Jesus has done for us, that he gave his life on the cross for us. So he is the model of what it means to be a martyr, right? He is the first true martyr who gives his life freely for the good of others. 
And Jesus becomes our role model, our leader, right? He shows us, he models the way in which he, we are called to be his disciples, in which he calls us to love one another, to put the needs and wants of others before your own. See, brothers and sisters, Jesus comes to us because although we had a chosen race and we had been chosen from the beginning of time, because of sin, man has fallen and examples were in Genesis, um, Genesis 3, when the man first fell. Genesis 15, um, when Noah, when Jesus restarts it again and f- clears away the, the, the land and restarts all over. And yet we fall and hear Abraham. Uh, Abraham's in chapter 15, sorry. Uh, chapter 8 is when Noah comes in. Chapter 15 is where where Abraham comes in, he restarts it and gives us the 12 tribes. But here we start this new virtue, this new avenue with Christ. In Numbers, the book that we read today from Kevin that read for us, we are the Israelites, the chosen people of God, have been moved away from Egypt and now they're traveling in the desert. And here in the midst of this desert, they are complaining and whining that this God that this God that is leading them to freedom has led them to death, and they're sitting there complaining. And that's usually us. We complain about everything under the sky, right? We're stuck in this home, and so we're COVID. We can't do what we want to do. We blame everything on COVID, right? So we're constantly in this state of complaint. Well, they're, here they are. They're complaining about this wretched food that they've been eating because they're tired of eating manna. They're trying to be thirsty. And there in the midst of all of this, there's the seraphims, these serpents that are, are traveling the desert as well with them, and they're biting them on their ankles and their legs, and they're dying, right? Moses goes and intercedes in the mountain. He intercedes for them and says, how, God, how is it that you brought these people here to this mountain, and they're dying, right? They think that you're an evil man an evil God. Jesus or God is saying, you know what, it's not that. It's I'm trying to purify them of their sins. I'm trying to break them of this way that they have been to show them a new path in life. But They don't want to accept it. But here I'm going to give them an opportunity to choose, to choose once and for all, to choose me. And so, he goes, I will give you an, an, an avenue for saving these individuals. And so he asks Moses to go and put a serpent on a, on a stick and mount it on a stick. And those who look upon it and those who believe will be saved. Even though they've been bitten, they will be saved. Well, it's a prefix to that. It is a prefix to Jesus hanging him, being crucified on the cross. For if we look upon it and we believe we are saved. Right? So this is a prefix of it, but it's a lot more than just looking upon it and believing that we are saved. There's more to that aspect. And so it, it's a prefix that we have, and it's a beautiful cross where we become adopted children of God right? through our baptism. But first, we ha- he had a role model of what it means to be a disciple. It means that we have to give up our lives and he gives up his life freely for us on the cross and this cross we look upon it and we are reminded that each and every day we are called to give up our cross it is through the baptisms through his teaching that he gives us that we are adopted children of god and we are then now moved into the family of god and we can call god our father it is through this adoption that we have The wood of the cross is a symbol for us to remember that each and every day we are called to sacrifice ourselves for the people that we have been entrusted to, for the church, and for him. We are called to die unto ourselves, to be the leaders. And that's exactly what it means to be a leader, one who dies upon himself for the good of the other. And so, brothers and sisters, today we are reminded that we are all called to die unto ourselves for the love of the Lord and the love of our neighbor. Amen? Amen. Hermanos y hermanas, te damos gracias para estar aquí con nosotros. Hoy estamos celebrando 
a la, no sé cómo decirlo en español, déjame, déjame ver, con permiso, con permiso, con permiso, ahí voy, ahí voy. La exaltación de la Santa Cruz, la exaltación de la Santa Cruz. Hoy uh, tenemos esta tradición de lo, del, segun, del siete ciclo, ciclo, sí. Ahí se me estaba olvidando el español, pero uh, donde el emperor uh, Heraclides nos trajo, la, le regresó la cruz a Jerusalén. Uh, alguien más lo tenían, los persians lo tenían y se los sac um, tomó de ellos y lo regresó a Jerusalén. Pero hoy esta cruz nos está dando el símbolo, el símbolo que Jesús nos da para nosotros el ejemplo. Él moda, nos da la, el modo de ser discípulo. Que si queremos ser discípulos, nosotros tenemos que a morir de no, a nosotros mismos, nuestros, nuestras dudas, nuestras uh, voluntad y poner todo en Jesús. Nosotros tenemos que caminar en el camino que Dios nos ha dado y nos dio la cruz. Todos los días que tenemos que sufrir su sufrir el cruz hermanos hermanos eso es difícil mira por qué tenemos que hacer eso porque somos gente de, de dios de dios y sabemos eso porque en nuestra primera lectura en números dice que la gente que estaba sufriendo mucho ¿verdad? los escogidos estaban sufriendo en el desierto y los que estaban sufriendo estaban diciendo ay por qué nos trajo aquí a esta este desierto, teníamos muchas cosas ya, teníamos una vida, no era bien, pero teníamos una vida, teníamos comida, teníamos agua, no estábamos sufriendo como estamos sufriendo aquí. Es más, los serpentes estaban caminando con ellos y mordiéndolos en los pies y ellos están cayendo muertos. ¿Y por qué nos trajo aquí Dios? Dios es un, alguien malo. No, Dios no es alguien algo malo, lo que está haciendo en estos momentos en el desierto, está purificando a la gente, que ellos dejan todos el pecado y sigan una nueva vida con él. So están, es su, su tiempo de purificación, pero ellos no están viendo eso, ellos están pensando de, de ellos mismos en sus estómagos, que tengo hambre, necesito algo para tomar, estoy sufriendo, está caliente acá afuera, ya. Y no, no saben que es tiempo de purificación. So, ellos pensaban que Dios, que Dios no sabe cómo sufrir. So, Dios manda a su Hijo aquí al mundo. Manda a su Hijo. No que vive en una casa de reyes, pero vive con los pobres para, para enseñarles que yo sí su, sé de sufrir. Mira, mando a mi Hijo y mi Hijo te enseña cómo ser un discípulo. Y al último momento da su vida para todos este mundo. Para que nosotros podamos ser adoptados a su, a su familia. Eso nos da el ejemplo de bautismo y nosotros tenemos que ser bautizados. Caminar en el mismo camino de Dios. Cuando estamos bautizados se abre el cielo. Nosotros estamos adoptados en la vida de Dios. Y nosotros podemos hablar a Dios, Padre, Padre, en estos momentos, alumina mi mente y corazón, ayúdame. El cruz nos da la vida nueva. Él da, Él muere para nuestros pecados, que nosotros estamos libres del pecado. So, la cruz es un símbolo que Dios nos da otra vida. Nosotros tenemos que levantar nuestras cruces cada día y caminar con Él. Hermanos y hermanos, ¿por qué no estamos haciendo eso? ¿Por qué no estamos muriendo en nuestra voluntad? ¿Por qué seguimos nuestra voluntad en lugar de la voluntad de Dios? Todos los días tenemos que hacer eso. Morir entre nosotros para vivir una, libre, una vida, vida libre del pecado y una vida con Dios. Hermanos y hermanas, hoy es el símbolo de ese tiempo que nosotros tenemos que cambiar. Tenemos que seguir la cruz. Amén. Amén. Brothers and sisters, let us all stand and offer our prayers and petitions for our brothers and sisters throughout the whole world.
for our leaders in the church that they may be shown forth in their personal lives and in their ministries the choices that Jesus made for the humanity and obedience that saves us through his cross. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That God who has sent his son into the world, not to condemn it, but to save it, may inspire our world leaders with the light and strength they need to navigate these difficult times with every effort to preserve peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we who receive the Holy Eucharist, the one whose name is above every name, may truly acknowledge him as Lord of our lives and allow him to mark our lives with the saving mysteries of the Holy Cross. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer, the sick, the elderly, those who are near death, those who suffer because of their resistance to God, that Jesus crucified, crucified may be lifted up in their lives like the serpent in the desert for their healing and new direction. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. And for our faithful departed, one signed with the Holy Cross, that the full redemption of Jesus may lead them into the joys of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And finally, we pray for all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious, loving God, we thank you for the many gifts that you have given us this day. We ask that you hear the prayers that we present to you at this altar, and we ask that you answer them according to your will. We ask this through the intercession of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us all be seated as we prepare the altar of sacrifice. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, oh. Bendito sea el Señor Dios y universo por este vino, fruto de la vida y el trabajo del hombre que recibimos de tu generosidad. Y ahora te presentamos, él será para nosotros bebida de salvación. Bendito sea por siempre, Señor. O the humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, in which on the altar of the cross canceled the offenses of the world, of whole world. Cleanse us, we pray, by, cleanse us, we pray, of all our sins, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Te rogamos, Señor, que este sacrificio que en el altar de la cruz borró el pecado del mundo eterno, nos purifique en todos nuestras ofensas por Jesús. Jesucristo, nuestro Señor. Amen. And the Lord be with you, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have placed the salvation of human race on the wood of the cross so that where death arose, life might again spring forth, and the evil one who conquered on a tree might likewise on a tree be conquered. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom, through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and the powers tremble before you. Heavens and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphims worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in you humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. Let us all kneel. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayers and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for the Holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and to govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, Gregory, our Auxiliary Bishop, and all those holding on to the truth, and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here, whose faith and redevotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and the hope and health and well-being, and paying homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In commemoration with those memories who we venerate, especially with the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Lord Jesus Christ, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clements, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Cassaginus, John, and Paul, Cosmos, and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, generously accept the oblations of your service, that of our holy family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, to bless and acknowledge and approve these offerings in every respect. Make it as spiritual and acceptable to, so that it may be for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Del mismo modo acababa la cena, tomó el cáliz y dándote, tomó el cáliz en sus santas y venerables manos, dando gracias, te bendijo y le dio a sus discípulos diciendo, Toman y beben todo de él, porque este es el cáliz de mi sangre, sangre de lanza nueva y eterna, que será derramada por ustedes y por muchos para el perdón de los pecados. Hagan esto en conmemoración mía. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion and the resurrection from the dead and his glorious ascension into heaven, of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to you, to your glorious majesty, from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, and this spotless victim, the bread of eternal life, 
and the chalice of everlasting salvation. We are pleased to look upon these offerings with a sincere and kind countenance, and to accept them as when she were pleased to accept the gift of your servant Abel the just, a sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offerings of the high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angels to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who, through this partic participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also your servants, who have gone before us in the sign of faith and rest and, and rest in the sleep and peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, to us also, your servants, who though, who though sinners, hope in the abundant mercy, graciously grant some share in the fellowship of your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist. Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellanius, Peter, Facility, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and while all your saints. Amid us, we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but gain, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, Bless them and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please rise. Nos ponemos de pie. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Líbranos de todos los males, Señor, y concede la paz en nuestros días, para que, ayudados por tu misericordia, vivamos siempre libres del pecado y protegidos de toda preparación, mientras esperamos la gloriosa venida de nuestro Salvador Jesucristo. Tuyo es el reino, tu el poder y la gloria por siempre, Señor. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Correro de Dios que quita el pecado del mundo, ten perdón de nosotros. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Let us all kneel. Nos ponemos de rodillas. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
body of Christ. Body of Christ. My brothers and sisters, while well, at this time not all of us can participate in the Eucharist, we then we can participate in prayer together as one community. And so let's all say the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Hermanos y hermanas, en este tiempo no todos podemos recibir de la Eucaristía, pero sí todos podemos orar juntos como una comunidad cristiana. Empezamos con el acto de comunión espiritual. Mi Jesús, creo que estás presente en el Santísimo Sacramento. Te amo por encima de todas las cosas y deseo recibirte en mi alma, ya que en estos momentos no puedo recibirlo sacramentalmente. Ven al menos espiritualmente en mi corazón. Te abrazo como, ya, como, te abrazo como si ya estuvieras allí, y unidos totalmente a ti. Nunca me permites separarme de ti. Amén. Let us pray. Oremos. Having been nourished by your holy banquet, we beseech you, Lord Jesus Christ, to bring those you have redeemed by the wood of your life-giving cross to the glory of the resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Señor nuestro Jesucristo, fortalecidos con este alimento santo, te pedimos que conduce a la gloria tu resurrección a quienes remitiste por el medio verificante en la cruz. Tú que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. My brothers and sisters, I'd like to thank you for worshiping with us in a special way. Welcome again to all of our family and friends via Facebook, YouTube, and our website channel. On behalf of Father Lito, myself, um, Deacon Juan, and Kevin, we thank you for being with us. Just a friendly reminder that CCD classes will begin shortly. Package pickups have uh, already taken place this Sunday. If you forgot to pick up your package or didn't have a chance to come by, you can pick up your packages at our office. If you still need to register your children, because we, do, we know that there's a lot of children that haven't been registered, you too can register your children at the office. But please do so sooner than later because we are running out of supplies and we want to make sure that we have enough supplies for your children. Hermanos y hermanas, te damos gracias por estar aquí con nosotros. Y um, aparte de uh, mí y Father Alito y Juan, el diácono Juan Torres y Kevin, te damos gracias por estar aquí, aquí con nosotros y celebrando esta misa con nosotros. Nomás un recuerdo que ya se empezó las clases de formación para los niños y ya recogemos nuestro, los libros este domingo. Si no tenías la oportunidad de recoger los libros, por favor pasa a la oficina donde ya tenemos libros listos. Si todavía no han registrado sus niños para la formación, por favor hazlo rápido porque ya se, ter, ya se nos están terminando los libros y queremos que todos están formados bien. So, por favor, ponse listo y registra a sus niños hoy. Ok, gracias. <clears throat> El Señor esté con ustedes. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Have a beautiful afternoon. God bless.